Okay, um, this is kind of like a part two, or, um, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I was actually recording this, and my camera stopped recording, so I'm just kind of picking up from where I left off. I'm not going to be as detailed this time around. <laughs> Basically, uh, I've already unboxed the GCW Zero. There's the packaging over there. Um, this is my second unit. Um, it comes with a cup. Just a little cup. Probably not going to use it other than like getting water in the middle of the night or something. Uh, I thought we were going to get a mug. A coffee mug. We didn't get one. Um, oh, where is it? Yeah, we got this little I don't know, squishy ball, like when I'm stressed out. <laughs> it's kind of cool, I guess. And uh, we got this GCW shirt. The back actually looks better than the front. The front basically says, uh, let me show you. The front looks kind of lame to me. <laughs> it's only just because it's like, I backed the GCW Zero on Kickstarter. It's like, I don't know. It should just say, in my opinion, it should say GCW Zero, built for gamers, by gamers, like what the back says. And then maybe on the back of this shirt, it should say I backed on Kickstarter. You know? I, I don't know. Anyway, it's cool. Whatever. Uh, I probably won't wear it too much. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway. So this is my unit. Um, the box is kind of a little annoying to open. Uh, it comes upward. You have to kind of shake it loose because it's a tight fit. Um, okay, so this is my unit. Uh, this is the white unit. Uh, one thing I was trying to say in the other video before it got cut short is uh, I was a little annoyed because I know Justin, I believe his name is Justin Barwick, I know he had to go through each one of these units individually to test and see if they work, you know, because they're, they're coming from this Chinese plays or manufacturer or whatever they make the units and stuff so he wanted to make sure everything worked which is you know I I commend him for that but uh <laughs> my other unit is scratched the fuck up like I'm pretty pissed off um this is my other unit um you can kind of see the scratches uh, not so much on the camera but I mean it was a little annoying annoying I um I'm a certain way about my electronics. Not that huge big of a deal, only because, I mean, this is like a... a uh, you can see scratches a little bit more further away. Um, I'm just, like, really... I don't know. I'm a tight ass about my stuff, basically. <laughs> my electronics, what I buy. My, you know, I keep... Everything looks brand new, like my Vita, my 3DS, all that stuff. Um, but it's okay. I mean, this is just a device, you know, I figured that I would carry it around for, um, you know, open source gaming and, you know, emulation. You know, it'd be something that would get beat up. I could save my PSP from, you know, getting beat up too much since uh, I have a Dissidia PSP uh, limited edition. So, plus this thing also emulates a whole lot better. We'll, we'll go into that later. Um, it comes with this little uh, baggy thingy. But yeah, back to the unit. So we're going to find out. Let me see if this is scratched. Open up this unit. Oh my goodness! Look, this one actually no, that's actually kind of nice. This actually has a, a what call it? A screen protector on it. So if we take the screen protector off, oh, this one is beautiful. Oh my gosh! I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to this black one. The screen protector wasn't on the black one. The black one was like scratched the hell up. This is beautiful. So, okay, I, I feel a little bit better. Um, but this isn't the one that I was going to use. I was actually going to uh, save this unit. So, let's turn it on. And uh, after that, I'm probably just going to put it away. So, this is how it starts. And, uh, bam. This is... Uh, the um I, was, I, I don't know what this, this is the interface for the gcw zero uh the os whatever you want to call it um you know we have the options power up <laughs> reboot 
Oh, one thing I actually dislike about the... Oh, and you know the other thing? This D-pad feels a little bit tighter than the one... This one. So, maybe this is one of the test units they... I don't know. I, I don't know what they did. The black one kind of was a little beat up. And the other thing is this, the button stick on the black one. Um... So you know what, I'm actually kind of glad I got two because my opinion probably would have been a whole lot better, uh, a whole lot worse had I only gotten one. Um, so yeah, uh, Justin, you know, uh, I don't know what happened. I mean, I, I feel like this whole process for the GCW0 was, uh, could have been better, you know, and I'm pretty sure he learned a lot and, um, you know, I'm not gonna fault the guy too much. I mean, he's making a handheld you know, console, and, you know, there's a lot of unknown unknowns once you get into something like this, but, um, yeah, uh, if I'm the, I'm not the only one with these problems, that's all I'm gonna say, so, um, if you're a backer, you shouldn't, you should expect, you know, you maybe you might have a, a, but, a, a unit with sticky buttons, or, uh, your screen might be scratched when you get it on arrival, which sucks, but I mean, it's going to happen. And some people are going to be more anal about it than I am, so unfortunately. Anyway, um, so yeah, we have um, a bunch of like little games and demos. We got like Free Doom, so it's like Doom. And uh, I actually haven't tried too many of these. Uh, we have the unnamed monkey game that actually looks really, really fun. I haven't tried that. We have your clock, we have an explorer, you know, this is connecting your Wi-Fi and things like that. Uh, I'm assuming this is a terminal or a, like a command prompt for Linux. And uh, you can change the skin or the background of the unit and all that other stuff. So, yeah, so let's see what else is in the box. So under this, we have uh, another little bag thingy protector. So for my white unit. We have uh, a charger for the unit, which looks like it charges through this TV out, or no, it's probably this DC thingy. Uh, we have an HDMI cable. This actually does have HDMI out. Uh, we have TV cables to connect it to the TV. Now, I don't know if this works out of box. I have not tried it. Um, I heard that HDMI wasn't supported and it will be like a, something that they patch with software and we'll be able to use HDMI out, which will be pretty cool. But um, I mean like to me, that's not like a huge feature. Um, you know, if them not including HDMI out would have made this thing come faster, I would have been perfectly fine because I feel like I can do emulation on other devices and plug it up via HDMI. But, you know, some other people may not have that ability. Um, so, I mean, it's cool. It's cool that we have the option. It's here um, and it's great. But my, my probably biggest con uh, concern or annoyance about this whole unit is there is no button for volume. There's nothing. You actually have to uh, control the volume, like you know, with software. There's a, a sound mixer thingy. You go in here and uh, you control the volume of the unit here. But my problem is I don't know how to do that outside of like, say, if you're playing a game and it's like, whoa, it's too loud. You actually have to close down that application, go all the way back out, go to the sound mixer, adjust the volume to what you think would sound appropriate, and then go back and start the game, which is a hassle in my opinion. So, I mean, like, if I'm playing this somewhere where I don't want, you know, my music blasting, I usually just go into the options of whatever, say, emulator application, and t just completely turn off the sound, and then I'll just toggle it, or I'll use my headphones, but... If your headphones are in and you haven't changed the sound thing, um, they're going to be blasting like crazy. Like, it, I, there's almost a very small difference with, you know, just using the speakers and then having your headphones plugged in because, I mean, it's, it's loud. This unit gets really, really loud, which is kind of good. Um, I have no problem with that. You know, there's sometimes that, you know, you're in a busy area and you want to be able to hear stuff and, you know, it gets loud. But yeah, that's my only concern. I wish there was a volume like slider or, you know, thingy, maybe up here on the top or something. Or I wish there was a set of buttons that you could press like a hotkey or something to control volume. But um, 
that might be something that gets patched in the future. I mean, who knows? It's not a huge deal, but it was annoying when I first got this unit and I didn't know what the heck I was doing. So that's pretty much everything that's in box with this thing. I'm going to show you what I've put on the unit that I've had for a while. I'm going to show you guys some Mega Man X because, I mean, like, that's the reason I got this thing. <laughs> so I can play Mega Man X 1, 2, and 3, full speed, portable. I mean, that's the whole reason I got this. So a bunch of emulators and that's the only real difference between these two devices. I've put emulators on this one. So I am going to show you Mega Man X. So um, after that, I mean, there's not much else I can really show you guys. Let's see if it's going to focus. Um, actually, let's set this up here. I have like this awesome little tripod for my camera. It's like a mini tripod. It's so cool. I can... Oh, crap. Don't fall over. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> you can see my face. <laughs> I'm not going to, like, hide my face at the end of this video or anything. Oh. Actually, let me show you where I left off. Oh. My problem is, uh... Whatchamacallit? Launch uh, octopus level... Is very frame skippy. Uh, I don't know if it has something to do with the transparency, that option in uh, whatchamacallit, in uh, Super Nintendo games or whatever, but for this level to be playable, I actually had to um, turn on frame skip. But I've seen some people um, get this game to play perfectly, so I don't know if they're using a different emulator than I am or a different settings, but it's possible to get this game and the other ones to play at perfect emulation. So that's, um, whatchamacallit, X1. Um, hold on, let me show you guys. I'm just gonna jump right to X3. <laughs> so for you guys who aren't Mega Man X fans, um, I'm sorry, cause <laughs> I'm not gonna like go and test like every Super Nintendo game. Oops. Yeah. So, I mean, so far, I, I really can't complain about um, what this unit can do. It's great. Um, I do feel that it's a little pricey. <laughs> uh, to back it on Kickstarter, I think it was $130. I backed it for 160 for two devices because I was being really generous. I was really excited. Um, so yeah, so I paid 160. Now, if you go to, I believe the um, the sites are um, damn. I think it's like Dragon Box that de and uh, Ithic or Illic or something like that. There's two websites you can actually go and buy the unit itself. Um, and uh, they sell it for one, I think it's one, 160 or 150 bucks. So I, I kind of feel like it's a little pricey, but I don't know. Once we, uh, once this thing has been out for a while, everybody gets their units and uh, maybe a few months goes by and there's more applications and there's more interesting stuff you can do. Uh, emulators run better. Maybe we get, um, PlayStation emulators running. Although, I mean, that's why we have PSP. You just go to the PSN store and, you know, get those games. But, um, yeah. I don't know. It might it might be worth it <laughs> as time goes on. Uh, but right now, I feel like maybe 130 bucks was about right. So, if you got it on Kickstarter then and you, you pledged 130 bucks, then uh, no worries, I guess. You know? Um... One thing I found really interesting is how um, this whole thing runs in Linux, so kind of makes me <laughs> wish I paid a little bit more t <laughs> uh, attention in my programming classes, like, you know, might want to do something or port something over, but I'm, I am not a programmer by any means. I uh, 
totally, um, I was gonna say appreciate, but I, I, um, I can't think of a good word. <laughs> I totally respect programmers and what they do, because, I mean, dang, that's like a lot of work. Programming isn't easy. <laughs> Oh, come on. Shut up. You're dead. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm not gonna go anymore. This is... I don't know. It shows you that the game is running. It's running at pretty full speed. The only issue I had is in X1 with a uh, Launch Octopus's level, it was a little laggy, so I didn't turn on frame skip. But other than that, everything else worked perfectly. So, uh... Really can't complain. Um... So, that's the GCW Zero. Um... My name is Kokatan, or that's my alias, that's what I'm going by, and, um, dang, I, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna end this video, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, if you have any questions, go ahead, PM me, ask me, and, um, yeah, hi, Neil Gaff.